What is going on guys? It's Sesback here bringing you guys a brand new Call of Duty video and today I just kind of I just kind of need to let something out because I'm actually really pissed off at something and Maybe you guys can relate to me not really but I definitely have something on my mind that I really want to get rid of So in case you guys don't know which a lot of you guys might not know I have a cat and he's 30 pounds, he's 30 freaking pounds, man. Like, what? And like, this kid eats an immense amount. All he does is sleep, eat, and the biggest one of them all is he just likes to fuck up everything. And I'm talking everything. So the, the way I got this cat, I didn't always have him. I recently just got him. But the way I got him was because Kathy, and before our breakup, she she was gonna move to Washington State, you know, for her to go to college and whatnot. And her stepmom's allergic to cats or whatever, so she had to get rid of him somewhat. And if she didn't get rid of him in time, her dad was going to just, I don't know, either give him up for a shelter or put him to sleep or do something. And me being the way I am, because I've been through that stuff before and I care about animals and all that stuff and I wanted to make her happy, I made the mistake of my life and took that risk of shit in. Like, I took him in, right? Thinking he wasn't gonna be too bad. And in the beginning, he wasn't. In the beginning, he was like a, a cute, fluffy, fat fucking cat, right? And like, I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna be too bad, but boy, was I wrong. So, what happened then was like, you know, I took this cat in, and you know, we set up his litter box, we set up where his food was gonna be and everything, and that's fine. But, he's been a complete douchebag lately, and it really frustrates me. So, what are the kinds of things that he does? So, for one, I can't, sometimes I can't sleep in my room because my room's kind of small and my bed is too short for me. I'm like 5'11", like 6 feet, and my bed's not that big. So, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, I'll sleep in the living room. And the cat's litter box is like behind the couch where it doesn't really bother anybody. And so, what I'll do is I'll go to sleep and this cat in middle of the night we'll just leave my sister's room and and like like a normal animal he'll take a he'll go do his business right and you would think like yo you he's just doing his business why are you hating on him bullshit like this cat makes a bunch of noise like it's like he takes a dump and plays with it it'll just be like and then he will not stop and it's like it's actually really aggravating especially when you're sleeping and it's so annoying and then what happens after he takes a dump he goes to his food and starts eating like what and it doesn't really make sense to me why he does that like okay I get some people you know what like hey you're in a buffet you're gonna take a dump and you're gonna go out and go back and eat some more I get it but this cat is just, his situation's different like he just eats to eat he's not even hungry and so at night I took away his food right the next night when I went to sleep which I was gonna sleep in the living room again I took away his food and boy he knew I was the one that took away his fucking food so I take away his food and in the middle of the night he wakes me up and he lays like right here right I'm asleep and he's right here and you think oh that's cute your cat's sleeping with you right and I thought so too I was like oh Tito what's up boy so I start like petting him and I start cuddling with him then what he does is that he like he like just he sits up like the like the pedestal the Lion King sort of thing he just like sits up and he looks at me and I'm just looking down at him like okay. and he looks at me and he gives me this meow, and he's like, meow, and I'm kind of like, I'm like half asleep, and I'm like, huh? And he swings at me. Legit, he swung his paw at me. Luckily, I caught that real fast, so I like backed up, and I was like, what the fuck, Tito? And I like woke up, like a little bit of my family, definitely Gabe right next to me, and I just pushed him off the couch. I was like, he's a piece of shit. What was his intention of doing that, right? And what else that he does is that I'll be sleeping on my bed, because, you know, I was like, I'm going kind of bed rested for a while and he'll sleep and he'll get on my bed oh my god he starts moving like crazy in my bed and he starts shedding all over the place and he's so annoying like that and so then whenever i get up like i have an envy shirt a black envy shirt from when the csgo team won like team clues or team blue j i don't know how the fuck you pronounce it i don't know I don't care. It's a, it's a black Envy shirt. That's the point. Now, whenever I get up from my bed, it's covered in cat hair. And I'm like, Tito, what the hell, man? Like, you just moved like crazy. And and then, like, you know, he gets mad. He gets mad that I'm mad at him. So he gets, he, like, and it makes no sense. So what does he do? He gets off my bed and he just turns his back to me. Which, in case you guys don't know, turning your back to someone is, like, really disrespectful. Like, 
like it's just it's just a sign of like you don't care and it's really like i wouldn't say degrading but it's very unappreciative and very disrespectful so this cat does that to me all the time and then also one time there was like i was laying on my bed just watching youtube videos doing my thing and then he lays next to me for a little while and i thought like okay he's just like he's laying down next to me nothing too bad right like little did i know right he like it's like whenever your dog sleeps next to you in a weird position you don't want to move because he looks really cute and you're like nah you know what i don't, I don't want to really mess with him he's comfortable it's kind of like how i thought with this cat he, he like laid down in a certain position i was like you know what i'm gonna leave him alone because he's like he, he wants to sleep here so i'm gonna do it right so i stay there for about a good hour and a half he wakes up and a 30 pound and like in case you guys don't know my foot is broken and 30 pounds of terror was just stepping all over my broken foot and that that hurt a lot so i started yelling i was like oh my god Tito! and like the more i moved the more it hurt so my so gabriel came and he, he like got him off right and then this guy was really mad he got right. really mad because apparently i got him uh, uncomfortable Kill. and then from that point on just it's been tito and i like i don't know man like I have him here, even, and like a lot of you guys might think, hey, well, you and Kathy aren't even together anymore, so why don't you leave and take him out? I do, I wanted to do that shit, because I actually hate this guy. So I decided I'm going to throw him out, I'm going to give him to shelter, I'm going to do something, and that's when my mom reacted like that. As soon as I said that, my mom was like, you're not throwing him out. And I was like, why am I not throwing him out? Like, he only reminds me of my girlfriend, or my ex-girlfriend, and that's her cat. And she's like, he did nothing to you, he doesn't deserve this, and like, you shouldn't treat him badly like that. And I'll give it to my mom. She's right. Like, he has no fault in this. It's not like he made the breakup happen or whatever. So, you know, I kind of just had to live with it. So, now, Tito is stuck in my house until he dies. He's been alive for three years, 13 years, excuse me. And I'm going to have to probably endure him for about another two or three. And I hope God really gives me the patience to deal with this guy. Vastly, vastly annoying. But, you know, all jokes aside, he's a cool guy. Just that sometimes he really gets on my nerves. Uh, Kathy unsubscribed to me, but in case you're watching this, Kathy. Authorizing UAV release. <sighs> he is definitely, literally, and metaphorically, a big so, so, so. He needs to learn some respect. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. In case you guys did, make sure to leave a like rating. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be catching you guys later.